Stop getting a spirit and drop a gun and ask up yourself. You understand because the world I look for me like mad people. Showing off dance moves to a new tune by Vegas, himself no stranger to dropping dance tracks. Patis Gang finding the right steps. QQ's dad GQ the link to Vegas, who took it from there. And it just dropping in, in a time when everybody has a band music on radio. And I say, all right, so they want fun music then. So what we're gonna put in the face. As it relates to singers and DJs taking the creativity of dancers for granted, Vegas says he's taking a different approach, as in making moves to broaden the scope of copyright coverage. For years, um, the dancers and create them dances, right? And we've been using the dances and we make a lot of money off of the dance moves them. So when we see Patas King now and them youth and we do the dance them, and based on certain studies that I've been doing, even with the copyright law and them things here, because it's dance and my dance are part of the art there. It's not mentioned in the copyright law. See, so I find a way now for the art when them create them dance, or we can give them some form of percentage on the publishing side. The dancers, them have been very instrumental in a lot of us career. You see me, I say, take for yourself, Gallus, Pond the River, all of them things there. A lot of, a lot of us get big hit songs uh, for the dance move them. So, I encourage the dancers them, not because it's not on the copyright book, that, you know, you're left out of the thing. Vegas also pursuing another copyright issue, this time against VP Records, for a slice of master rights to his music. A lot of artists in Jamaica, they don't really get no royalties. They don't have no rights to them. Shira the master, Jamaica signed on as a signatory to the Rome Convention that interpreted or clarified the law. However, the government of Jamaica is basically dragging, you know, um, the whole situation and not implementing it in the system where the artists them can benefit. So we as artists, them, we know of this now. We have to get together collectively and force the government to implement it into the law. <laughs> In his new track, Vegas sent a shout out to his old school Oberlin. That was before the odd behavior of several students in a video posted on social media brought some clearly unwelcome attention to the St. Town for High School. You don't send a child to school to, to speak in tongues or to get in spirit, you send a child to school to get an education. So I understand people are religious and they want to do them church thing, but yo, you have that Saturday, Sunday and sometime in the evenings. So when school time is school time, no teacher is supposed to be allowed to go on any platform calling up children to speak in tongues or pray over, you know, this type of spiritual, religious outburst. What do images like that that we saw on social media say about Jamaica the government, and our education system? The government must address it. This is not something that you sweep under the carpet because we're still seeing videos circulating with students getting in spirit in them uniforms. That to me, in my opinion, is disgrace in the uniform, just like when girls winding up in the uniform. Vegas on his podcast tackled a topical artist manager dispute over how talent gets paid. The singer later said on social media that she was switching over from dance hall to a gospel lane. I will never find peace and happiness until I turn my life over back to God. Something Vegas had himself done, but about which he's changed his mind. You can be tired of your job, but you don't have to demonize it. That is the problem I have with people when they live in dance hall. They try to demonize the culture. I just think when people are saying, no, this is not God want me to do. God is punishing me because I'm doing this. Why is God punishing you because you're doing dance hall? I'm not punishing you because you're wearing a tight skirt or a tight pants or a bodysuit. You understand? So that is what I have a problem with. I don't think God is punishing people because I'm singing dancehall music. I totally moved away from dancehall. That's why I can understand the, the ignorance or whatever people are putting forward and the way how they feel. That gospel move for you was a mistake? I wouldn't say a mistake, but it's a learning process. It's you regret that, it? It's not a, it cannot be a mistake when I was indoctrinated that way. The mistake was to 
to, be, to, to, to allow people to indoctrinate us or to let people to continue to indoctrinate us. When it comes down to dancehall music, we need to stop demonizing dancehall music and making it seem as if it is not our job. When you're working at the, the, the car company, the telephone company, all of these companies, you know what are operating these, 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 these things? Cobalt and those things that they mine in Africa, minerals that they mine in Africa with child labor. That is more cruel than what any dancehall artist can sing. Anyway, Vegas in a dancing mood. But is the dance scene what it used to be? Or is it too being chopped away by other current trends? I'm not sure if it is, it is as popular as it once was, but people like Ding Dong are wallet up still. And Lali, them are wallet up. People change with the weather, man. People gonna change with the weather. If dancing start around the place, people are gonna dance. You understand? It's just war around the place. Dancing is always dead. It's just that it may not be as popular as it used to be. When it used to be the center of the, the, the whole thing. Where people come from all over the world come dance. That way I try to recreate where more people can dance. More dancers can build a dancing show.